I can't believe that I am back here. It has been such a long time since I've produced any videos. However, I've been going through some personal stuff that I have been dealing with, and I'm glad to be able to get back to a microphone and get back to producing some video content. I went to delete a playlist the other day and saw that a bunch of people had subscribed that I didn't even know about, and it got me to thinking, and it helped to inspire me to get back to the camera and to the microphone. So first, uh, it has been quite a bit of time, so why don't I tell you what I have been listening to. I have found so many new ASMR people online, thanks to other ASMR people. I'll get into that in just a second as well. I hope you enjoy the view here. I was down at the lakefront and shooting this video the other day. It was just such a peaceful image that I just needed to get it on camera and I thought that it would make something really nice to throw a voice over something nice and relaxing for you. Here we go. First video producer that I want to talk about is somebody I've never mentioned before. Her name is Visual Sounds One ASMR. Well, the video that really captured my imagination was Android Repair. The ASMR experience was very quick for me when I started watching it and I went into some of her other videos and they're all just as strong and she's got, well if you're not Canadian or American, uh, she has an accent and I think that you'll really find it uh, quite relaxing to listen to. I know I've talked about the White Rabbit ASMR, uh, but I wanted to bring her up again because her channel has really been taking off, and I always like to see success stories, especially in the producers that I have been cheering so loudly about for such a long time. I think that when it comes to the White Rabbit ASMR, the videos that tend to hook them initially are the videos that she does portraying 80s scenes, especially this Connie character that she has with this, uh, to me it sounds like a Brooklyn accent uh, from the 1980s and the styles and everything. She really does try to keep to form. But there's really a lot more to her than these 80s videos you really need to check out the entire channel to see the actual depth that she has when she is making a production she is extremely skillful and sometimes she'll even bring her hubby into the videos with some of her uh, unboxings that she goes to and also she's a canadian transplant so yay uh, she's living in Italy right now, so technically she is my favorite Canadian Italian ASM artist. Probably the only one, but heaps of talent, and I enjoy her stuff thoroughly. I really wanted to also mention somebody who is so special to me. Her channel is so incredible. ASMR Shani. This is a place you have to take on as a whole. It's not just a video. She is offering so much more. I started watching ASMR Shani. I think it was a Mad Doctor video and that absolutely hooked me. She had done it so exceptionally well that she just pulled me right into it. But since the Mad Doctor videos, um, she's also had things like live streams, uh, 
and I, I find that when she's on her live streams, I don't know why, but her live streams are probably my favorite. She hits upon so many different uh, triggers when it comes to ASMR with the live streams. And she really gives you a sense of community in the ASMR world. Uh, when you sign up for her Patreon uh, page, if you want to become a supporter, you'll have access to her uh, Discord uh, page. And there you're going to find other ASMR producers and a lot of people who are gamers online. It's just a real mishmash of people in that community. I found so many different ASMR producers who are already established or who are already starting out. I am so thankful that I became a Patreon member to her channel. Uh, I have gotten so many rewards out of just uh, being a part of the whole thing. Uh, one of the people that I bumped to in uh, ASMR Shani's Discord was another artist by the name of Lilibet ASMR. And she's an example of somebody who is just starting off. She has a boatload of talent on board. And when she gets it all together, um, there's a, a real opportunity for this producer to really do something big with her channel. I really loved her Stephen King's Misery roleplay, but it was done so well. I was almost terrified to click on the next link. <laughs> she is really incredible and definitely worth uh, giving a click. Zach ASMR. Bizarrely enough, Zach has become one of my favorites. He has this video out calling Studying You for ASMR. It's quiet, it's low key, and then out come the lights, and boom. Um, I've seen one vi uh, video where he's doing a role play of negative energy removal, and suddenly out comes a propane torch. He's mixing like this dry sense of humor with ASMR. He's really quite funny in a deadpan kind of way and maybe a little bit crazy as well in a really good kind of way. And I just love his material. Another gentleman that I have been listening to a lot is ASMR Muzz. He is living in Canada, has a Scottish accent, and he is another example of somebody who's done a transplant from one country to another guy. This guy, ASMR Muzz, is all natural talent. I don't know if he realizes it, but he's incorporating a lot of relaxation techniques into, into his videos that I've seen other professionals resort to when they're actually doing relaxation exercises. Give ASMR a pencil, a piece of paper, and a microphone, and he'll have you so relaxed in just a few minutes. This is a channel that could very easily take off, and I really think it will. I'm really cheering for him. Lisa ASMR. Uh, at the time of producing this video, she has 67,000 subscribers, so she is well on her way to building um, a really good channel. Uh, well, actually, it's a really great channel right now, but I think numbers-wise, I think that uh, it's going to grow much more. If crisper, crinkly sounds are more your type, for an ASMR trigger, um, she will definitely provide tons of those. Now for me, watching Lisa ASMR videos is like 
hanging out with a really good friend or my sister. There's like a lot of real stuff, real life stuff happening here alongside the role plays. And you actually feel like you've been invited to come in for coffee to share her day. If she's not taking you for uh, a ride in her car or out for a walk. It really is a very wide range of her life. Some of it real, some of it not. She does throw like the role plays into it as well, and her unboxings are always fun. I could not do this video without bringing up Luna Eclipse ASMR. This is one of the wildest rides that I have been on when it comes to ASMR. Uh, the Mad Doctor Inspection, uh, which is a combination of a dark backdrop, uh, colored contact lenses, wildly colorful hair, and one of the most relaxing voices I've ever heard. And her audio levels in her production are spot on from video to video. So you can playlist her stuff or listen to video after video without having to adjust your volume. That's really important if you're trying to relax and not wanting to have to adjust your computer after every single play. The production quality is absolute, absolutely excellent. Uh, she's a very talented producer with more than a hint of bizarre and she loves pizza so she has to be okay. Elise. Her channel is simply Elise. I like to think of Elise as a person of the world. At the moment, she's studying abroad to get a PhD. She's extremely intelligent, and her videos definitely portray that. But not in a throwing it in your face kind of way. She is very real, and very human, and she's got this really wicked, dry sense of humor. And you have to listen very carefully. And sometimes her sarcasm is dropped so quickly and she's off to her next thought that sometimes you're left wondering did she really just say that uh, to be on the safe side don't be drinking any milk while watching an Elise video she also started a patreon account this is another reason why I absolutely love this channel um, there's so much honesty coming from her. Uh, she comes right out and says that she has this Patreon account to fund her PhD. And she's not going to be taking the money to spend on new equipment and to bring you uh, bigger and better productions. She's being outright honest here. And she's telling you that money that she raises in her Patreon account is going to fund her PhD. I really like the honesty coming from her and this hits a heartstring in me because I have a daughter going for a PhD in England right now and I'm already feeling pretty blessed with my lot in life because she, financially she's already set and she's got things on the go and life is great and so I wanted to pay it forward uh, by mentioning Elise here and becoming a Patreon member myself. I am a Patreon member of that channel. Remember I said I wasn't interested in fundraising or making money for myself. You know, that was in other videos that I brought up. I'd rather you check out all these channels yourself. And if you want to become a supporter, supporting them directly instead of through me. I don't want your money. I had over a decade in broadcasting and I've had my time already and I would just like to pay it forward for, to somebody else. I want to be the cheering section and not the focus. So checking out these artists, if you're checking out these artists and supporting them, that is really big uh, for me. Links to these artists will be on my proto page which I'm linking to in the description of the video. I hope you'll check some of them out, if not all. And I'm absolutely pumped.
positive. There's such a variety of talent here that are so bizarrely different. You'll, you'll find something you like and probably wind up subscribing to someone. And on that note, I think I am done with talking about the new ASMR uh, producers that I have been listening to. Some of them new, some of them not so new. I want to carry on with the rest of the video with something that I find that is really important. And this is something that is dealing with uh, self-perception and mental health. So I'm doing uh, a 180 here and going completely somewhere else. And if you're happy with the video and you don't want to go any further, you can pause it or you can stop it and go on to uh, the next video or the next thing that you're going to do in life. But right now, I have a letter that I want to share with all of the people who are out there with huge anxiety disorders or who are going through a lot right now. So here goes my letter. Dear friend, I would like to share some thoughts with you about observations I've made over the last couple of years. In my field of work as a nurse in addictions in mental health, I've heard people referring to themselves in so many negative ways. And I want to set up a bit of a challenge for you to think about. And you can agree and you can disagree. It's just a thought. I hope you'll bandy about in your brain a bit. Here goes. You're not a loser. You are not depressed. You are not bipolar. You are not a druggie. You are not stupid. You are not homeless. Liar. Thief cheat, jerk, fat, ugly. All these word, words hold so much power. Power to hurt. Power to harm. None of these words are you. Here's where my challenge comes from. If I look at a hair Am I going to sit there and call you a hare for the rest of your life? Is that who you are? Would you go around identifying yourself as a hare to everyone, including yourself? You'd probably laugh at the idea. It's ridiculous, right? I promise not to go through the rest of the video calling you a hare or a nose or a toe in the same way I am not going to go through this video calling you liar, thief, cheat, addict, depressed, sick, maimed. Sometimes negatives enter into our life. And yes, you can be going through bipolar disorder. You can be going through depression or an addiction. But that is not who you are. These are moments in your life that you are choosing to hold on to as an identity. There are so many other words with so much power you have the ability to use if you think about it. You have to think about it. Think about it. Mother. Father. Brother sister, lawyer, nurse, friend, advocate, warrior. I like that last word, warrior. It's a facet within so many of us. I, like so many others in the mental health field, have the distinct advantage of being on both sides of the glass. 
I'm not just on the outside looking in. I'm on the inside looking out. I have my own battles with depression and PTSD. And I've learned not to use any of these negative labels to identify myself. More often, I would think of myself as a warrior. I have had so many individual battles in this long war. I have persevered and I've won. Just like you have. Because if you hadn't have won, you wouldn't be here today. With all those struggles, you are here. You survived. You are a winner. You are a fighter. And in those struggles, you've probably met others and talked to them about their struggles. Maybe you've even helped lift someone up out of a deep, dark place. Because you are an advocate. You were a friend in that moment. Maybe you've been by someone's side as they brought new life into the world. Maybe you have brought new life into the world. Being there for someone else makes you hero. So with so many labels, why do you choose the negative that holds so much horrible power? I like to believe the brain is hardwired to think toward the negative as an old survival mechanism. If you hear someone call you fat or loser, the brain wants to hold on to that negativity because that's the way the brain was made from the beginning of time. The good news from a counselor of mine that I had in the past is that this way of thinking, it's a lie. It can be defeated. She told me that over time we can actually change that hard wiring that we have. The person you are is the label you give yourself. Start changing those labels instead of depressed. Label yourself as mother, hero, father, brother, sister, warrior, advocate. You are so much more than a word. You could describe yourself as a solar system with all sorts of planets, moons, and debris all floating around. Some of it colliding and dancing, yet not one making up a whole. You could be like a galaxy with millions of stars and extraterrestrial bodies floating about, systems of planets going around in circles, comets going through journeys of thousands and thousands of years, each apart but none defining the galaxy. You could be like the universe with billions and trillions of things happening within and none of those individual things define you. It is mind-blowing how beautiful each person is. How we carry so much and have so much impact on everything around us. So pick and choose the label you identify yourself carefully. I have already picked a label for you. And it was right at the beginning of this letter that I started writing to you. It was the very beginning of the letter. Do you remember what I started with? I started with, Dear Friend. Good night from North Bay.